Will Smith irresponsibly urges people not to elect, quote, godless leaders. In America, during an interview with CNN political commentator Angela Rye on her show called On One, actor Will Smith argued that our country, meaning America, uh, what America needs right now are people who don't promote, quote, destructive aspects of loveless, godless leadership. He said, quote, as a country, I would hope that a, uh, that a part of what we're learning right now is that the destructive aspects of loveless, godless leadership do not elect people that don't have God and love in their hearts, end quote. After the interview aired and he got some uh, criticism and pushback, he wrote in a comment, quote, just to clarify, I'm not talking about church or religion, end quote. Does, okay, so he did you hear what he just said? Even his apology is fucking infuriating, right? So he's not talking about what he's not talking about church or religion. Is mm -hmm. that what he said? So, like, so you know, it doesn't matter what religion you are, it doesn't matter what faith you have or what church you go, as long as you're not a fucking atheist. You know, just the godless people. I'm not talking about the Muslim. They have their God. Like, hey, I'm not talking about Christian superiority or anything like that. Just get it clear, guys. My apology. My apology to the Muslims or the Hindus or the deists that thought I was insulting them. No, 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 no. I was only talking shit against the atheists. Come on, guys. We can all agree that it's the fucking atheists that we could all hate on. Like, oh my god, this is this is I notice this all the time. You know what? This whole video is was about was like, oh, we are so divided, uh, like Black Lives Matter, we should get together and like not have discrimination and racism, and we should all be like come together as a country and fuck those atheists, right? Like, let's not elect atheist politician in office. Like, and he uses the word like love loveless and godless as if like put them next to each other what did he say exactly like we shouldn't elect god no so he, the title says godless leader but what he said is loveless and godless these motherfuckers think they have a monopoly over love they think they are um you know they think they're the same thing like they think they sort like that's what they, that you know this whole all the mess that the, the country is dealing with this is his solution he thinks it's us he thinks it's us atheists the the lack of godliness is what is causing all this problem this is they are trying to fix you know i see this all the time people are like hey let's let's not be so divided let's hold hands and sing kumbaya and get united get united over the fact that we all hate the fucking atheists and we could all agree with each other that as long as we believe in God and we want, and we're not one of those heathens, we could all get along. This is their message of unity. These motherfuckers. You know what? On so many like different groups that have nothing to do with politics, like we had a Dr. Amy Atkin fan page for nurses and other medical people who is the health director of this one or this other whatever so some some plain group about cats or whatever somebody will put some religious prayer keep the, you know god bless this rescuer or this or that or you know gee or picture people praying or and so i would always comment you know that's really great that you want to offer support or something but there's plenty of secular ways to do it let's try and keep this group secular this is a non this is a cat group or this is a medical you know group or whatever and the amount of pushback i got in terms of comments some people would like it but everything was that if i don't like it i should just shut up if i don't like it i can just scroll by and be quiet if i don't like it i don't have to you know and i said it's not a matter of that why is the onus on us the non-believers every time to have mm. to put up with this shit, to have to be the ones who are discriminated against, have to be the ones who have to be quiet all the time, have to be the ones who have to acquiesce to your religious privilege, you know? And also I think that Will Smith has some weird like woo-woo rainbows and Care Bears version of God too that a lot of people, like if they're, they're not religious, they say that all the time, but I believe in God and God is love. Cause it's- Okay, but I think, I, I don't care about it. I think we're missing the point. I think we have to miss on this anti-atheist propaganda that we need to focus on. You're right. You're yeah. right about that too. I right. just- 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, but I, I mean, I, I hate all that. Like, oh, the good love is all. Like, yeah, you could do that. Go ahead and do that. But fuck you for, for, for your anti. You know, this is like this is something that these people. I'm hoping if we are successful with our atheist activism. By the way, I'm gonna play his video for people who think I'm exaggerating. Okay, um, this is something that if we are successful with our anti atheist activism, they're gonna play these videos ten years from now, and these people are gonna be like, "Oh my god, this looks so bad." Like yeah, the same amount, the, the shit that people are like said ten years ago about black people or Jews, oh and now they're like playing, and we're like, "Oh my god, yes, I'm sorry." At that time, this was normal, but now with the new standard, we're realizing how bad that is. I'm it's hoping that if <laughs> yeah, hold, on. let me finish this, please. But I'm hoping that if if we're successful with pushing our atheist activism, the 10 years from now, these videos are going to come back to haunt these motherfuckers down. But let me actually play this video. Let me know if you have the idea, okay? As a country, I would hope that a part of what we're learning right now is the destructive aspects of loveless, godless leadership. Do not elect people that don't have God and love in their hearts. Say that for the people in the back. <laughs> <laughs> As a country. Uh, fuck you, seriously. Like, it's not, you know how you know this is not just about even being against ideas. You are actually, this is not about, oh, I, I think God and love is beneficial, right? This is like, this is explicit bigotry because you're talking about actual discrimination not electing a group of people you're actually talking about judging people like not you know this is not oh i i'm, I'm a christian I get, i'm against atheism no this is active call out for discrimination against a group of people okay and this was in a context if you watch the full video this was in a context of a video of how to bring people together how to create promote love and understanding and unity in a country in this in this troubled times this was a video about black lives matter right yes we, we yeah we should we should care about black lives as long as these black lives are not atheist as long as they're not godless i guess that's his message by the way he, here's an okay let me just get, get this all out of the way a few other points. Yeah, the problem with your country is that you have godlessness in your politics and loveless, loveless. Okay, how are they two related? What about all the other godless countries with godless politicians that are doing so much better than the United States, huh? What about Denmark? What about Norway? What about Sweden? What about all those countries that you guys are so jealous of because of the things that they have and you don't, and they're all goddamn, they're, they're godless. So that's one thing, okay? So apparently godlessness doesn't necessarily mean that you you have to have division as much as you have in your country. Uh, you, and, you know, this video, again, was about Black Lives Matter, right? And they are talking about the problem being godlessness, and they believe in a god that promoted slavery, slavery, people, slavery. You want to you wanna say something that for the people at the back? Say that. Your God promotes slavery. Okay. Uh, I wanted to. Do you feel better? Yes, I feel better. Do you feel better? Yes. Okay, yes. good. <laughs> uh, I, I wanted to say, like, is this like uh, the unity they're talking about, like having a common enemy to be against? Like, they're just pushing atheists as the common enemy. So, when people have a common enemy, they are united. So, is it trying to do that? Like, yeah, all religions be united because we have a common enemy, the godless atheists, or something like that. And also, I I can relate to the situation of Rivka. Like, whenever like in groups or pages anywhere, like people are saying, uh, commenting all like anything with god or amen or whatever in it and if i go and say something secular or something like that people are like oh you are spreading hatred against our religion and you uh, i will report you and everything like that and even like this certain case happened like this atheist guy he posted something and i commented uh, something with something like secular or something like that i don't even remember and there was this guy replying to me saying why are you trying to uh, deconvert him or uh, like, why are you trying to make him an atheist if he's religious? And I'm like, he's already an atheist. 
why do you just assume everyone to be religious and anytime someone speaks anything secular at all you just assume them to be atheist or bad or something like that like yeah i'm an atheist but why do you just assume that atheists are bad or like it's it's like you're really annoying on the internet totally um i think based on what i vaguely know about will smith and his family they're yeah very woo they've been accused of being scientologists before to be charitable i would say he's talking about more of a pantheistic idea of god and i think before armin goes off this is me trying to be as charitable as possible and even that's still bullshit. um and when you say i'm not talking about church or religion i believe what he was getting at was we need leaders with more compassion and stronger principles specifically regarding issues of race okay but if that's what you mean you should say so because the blm global network website wait say that part again the, say that one part uh, say that part again what i believe he intended i, I yeah, believe he yeah, intended to say that we need leaders with stronger uh, more compassion and stronger principles regarding issues of race but he could have said so if that's what he meant right and it's also worth pointing out that on the blm global network website on the black lives matter website they specifically say that they advocate for non-believers that that right. is included. We covered within, that. We, co we covered yes. that. We we gave we gave them kudos for that. Like we were that we were happy about the fact that they included black atheists. But go on. Yeah, and so it, okay. I so don't know if you didn't you, understand that, but they are included within this movement as well. Yeah, but let me tell you why you're wrong, Susanna. First of all, <laughs> I don't. Yeah, because first of all, you're saying like, oh, his God might not be the Christian Bible. Who gives a shit? He's saying that God. Hold on, let me let me talk. Um, yeah, um, my point is that he's saying godlessness is the problem, and no, godlessness godlessness is the solution. God God has been the pro historically God has been the problem. Okay, so whether I don't care about his brand of God, if you if you want to say that people's lack of belief in God is an issue, no, that has not been the case. Okay, so that's my point. And if you saying like his intention was. That oh we are in we're, there's less compassion and shit like that. That makes it even worse because he thinks God believing in God he's associating that with compassion. Again, this goes for these religious fucktards to think that <gasps> their God their God is the source of compassion and love and morality. So the fact that he you he means like oh I just meant more compassion and he phrased it as the problem being godlessness. That's that's horrible. Like imagine it's like imagine if I said like okay, we need less uh, Jews in power. Like oh, what boy. the hell are we talking? This army. What the fuck are you talking about? That's horrible. Like, but what I mean is like we mean we need people with compassion in power. That's what I meant. Oh, that Jesus. makes it even worse. But what I'm, yeah. you know what? That means like what I'm saying is like oh Jews cannot have compassion. That's the, how does that make it better? That makes it so much worse. Anyways. Well, please like and share this video because we just nuked it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. I just want to say mad props and respect, Armin. I'm just like, I love hearing you say all that stuff you just said with such passion. Okay, here we go. That's it. I mean, the only, Heated, time Armin is no one, the only time no one has a problem with what Armin has to say is when he's heated. Absolutely no one has a problem with what he's saying. It's my favorite. You really shine. Um, Shubham, did you have anything else to add? Uh, no, not really. I mean, this is like another oh. sad case when one of okay. my like really loved actors <laughs> turned out like this. Okay, news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell, <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person 
told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow unfortunately we can't grow so we need you guys to share our videos 